Hey guys, Will Kelly here with Military Lawn Cuts and Green Lawns. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the leadership development program that we are putting together for our team, uh, no matter what industry that you're in. <laughs> Biggest component that we preach and stress and do on our own is continually educating ourselves, growing, bettering ourselves. And we're implementing a system within our own business to basically allow our team members to listen to audiobooks uh, from Audible that we pay for, to allow them to grow financially, spiritually, emotionally, personally, uh, implementing good habits, all of these things, becoming a leader in, uh, in, in their industry and, and things like that. So uh, we think this is going to be really good. I'm going to show you guys a binder real quick and um, we're going to jump right into it. So a little bit of a motivational uh, cover for the binder here. And um, if you open this up, so uh, what we did, our great ops manager, Larissa, she went ahead and uh, basically printed out pictures of all different kinds of books, growth books, personal development books and just put like a sentence or two of what that book is about to see if they are a little bit interested in learning about this kind of material and we've got a few pages here as you can see which I actually showed the team this morning uh, we've got a few guys I actually had signed up so uh, this book right here is actually one of the books that I am listening to currently and that book is called extreme ownership okay so it was written by navy seals and it talks about how to lead and win uh, basically taking ownership for everything that happens on the battlefield in business in your life in your relationships and things like that and it's a pretty monumental book that i'm listening to and some of the key kind of nuggets is um, instead of playing the blame game and blaming other people for everything that's going wrong, you can't control what they do. You can only control your actions and what you can do. And if you reverse that psychology and that mindset of, hey, this, is a, this stuff is happening because I am responsible. I am failing in the business, in the relationship and it's my responsibility to fix that, to correct that, to get better at that, to educate myself and things like that. Um, it's just a very, very good mindset to have to be, be becoming a leader. Um, last point kind of that I want to touch on. So for example, let's say, um, so I'm obviously the owner, my wife and I, we own the company. We've got five trucks, we've got crews and things like that that go out. If they leave a gate open on a property, it's my fault. I am taking ownership for that. I did not take the time out to explain the importance and the level uh, level of importance behind that of leaving the gate open. How that could let the you know you could absolutely or accidentally leave the gate open and let the dog out unintentionally because you left the gate open. We had a baby get out one time, a real toddler kind of almost wander out of, of the gate. So they do a lot of properties. It would be so easy for them on the crew to be like, oh yeah, it was my fault. But me as a leader, me as an owner, I am taking responsibility for that even though I wasn't even out there on the property or even in the truck with them. That's what it means to be a leader. That's what it means to lead by example. And, um, and, and how to win out there. So um, if you guys like what you saw, definitely let me know. Let me know what you guys, what kind of content you guys would like to hear or see. And I am here to help and serve you guys, serve the community. So let me know and I'm here to help. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.